Coming up next, Sin Censura, the three guys rant. Come one, come all to the greatest show on earth with three of the world wonders, the three guys rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. News, politics, escándalo, sports, current events, all things worth writing about, and much more. These tres gorditos will blow your mind. Welcome back. <laughs> is, my, is my microphone even on? Are you having a? Are you having a seizure? He's stroking. Out? I might be because I, I don't. don't, I don't, hear, I don't hear myself here either. Hello, right. hello. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. We might have to restart this. Alan says we're good. Oh wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> now you can hear yourself. Now I can hear myself. That's because you only had the tip in. No, no, really. It was, he, he it was, was all too, the way in. It was all the way in. <laughs> he was all the way in, man. <laughs> so welcome back to another it's episode a, of the Three Guys problem. Rant here in the uh, Church of Rantology 101. And I got to say, I don't know what's um, what to make of this. The white man is in court, and the biggest movie of the week is Five Black Guys, which I do got to say, I did see straight out of Compton. Um, I didn't want to see it. I'm glad I saw it. It, it. It's a lot better than I thought, than I expected it to be. I mean, it really, it really could only be so bad. I mean, we yeah, all know how, how it turned out. NWA became, you know. Right. How, how bad did you think it was going to be? I mean, it, it was done by a professional studio, not by uh, five actually, black you know guys. What? Actually, with, you know what? Camcorders and company. After I did some research, there was a lot of big studios behind it. There was New Vision. There was, no, a New Line Cinema, Cube Vision. Uh, it was a universal picture. Uh, it was a good movie. It was, no, it was just short of two and a half hours, and it did not feel like it was a two and a half hour movie. You had Dre and you had Q behind it. I, I, I mean, do. I, I will say I was a little disappointed. I tried to see Compton or straight out of Compton in the city of Compton. Much to my surprise, there's no movie theaters in the city of Compton. <laughs> door knock. I know, man. All right, on to happier <laughs> things. Let's talk about football. Football's back preseason started officially last week, um, and out of the gate. Your Cowboys lost. Damn right. To who? The Chargers. That's right. Uh, much to my dismay, I've got a, a five-year-old. i got to go give a 20 spot to. <laughs> if you're listening, you little homo, your team's going to lose this week. Suck it. Wait, wait, you, wait, you, wait. You're wait. betting against a five-year-old, and then you're calling him out on air? What the hell is wrong wait, with wait. you, man? Yeah, because I, I know my godson won't be listening because his I, I mom don't say, let him. Uh, so, you know. How many five-year-old homos do you know that you got to call him out like that, I gotta, man? i got to be mean, dude, because <laughs> man. His, his dad's here, and his dad won't remember what I said five minutes after he leaves Oh, anyway. if he's family, then I can assure you that they don't listen to this show. Right, 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 right. Okay. But since his dad's here, <laughs> I, I can make – I can make because, you, you know, I, by the way – before the whole LGBT starts calling, I have nothing against anybody of that nature. What do we say on the show? Lo cagas con tu colito, está bien conmigo. So I'm just saying, my godson, um, yeah, his team won, and I'm never going to hear the end of it. So yeah, buddy, his team won. So that um, and it was a good win. Who's his team? It's your team, but the I Packers. Geez, I, I have I, that doesn't Packers. even register. I ask this every year. Packers. And then Allen likes the 49ers. I don't know how they did over the weekend. Ooh. They're going to be playing the Cowboys this week. No, next weekend. Up in San Francisco, they're playing. Cowboys and 49ers. That's right. Allen's team is going down. But doesn't everybody in San Francisco? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm hearing that even across the bay, man, there was a picture floating around uh, Facebook about the, uh, <clears throat> the Raiders offensive line. Practicing? Did you see it? No. There's four, no. five naked oh! guys on the bed. <laughs> yes, I did see that. Uh, yeah. So, hey, you know, even the Raiders are going that way. I don't remember what it said, but it was funny. I did see it. Hey, since we're talking NFL real quick, I know uh, Phil and I talked about this a little bit. Did you hear about the uh, the linebacker from the uh, Pittsburghs, James Harrison? Uh, what, what, what are the Pittsburghs? <laughs> Pittsburghs. Pittsburghs. <laughs> you know what? I was trying to oh, connect the fuck. dots. <laughs> Screw me. The, the uh, Alan, Pittsburgh Steelers. Alan, now you got two segments you got to edit out, Alan. There's a word earlier and now his F bomb. So hey, we man. Pull that out. You know what? You talk with your accent, I talk with mine. Okay. okay so the Pittsburgh Steelers okay. I, wow. linebacker, James Harrison. You know what? That phone's going to ring in a matter of seconds. Uh, the FCC is uh, earning their paycheck today. He uh, has caused a little bit of a stir online because he returned. Two participation trophies that his kids got for playing in a, just 
in, in, a, in the league. That's what they were talking about in the news. So he says they're going back. Uh, he loves his kids. He'll support them all the way through their lives, but they need to earn a real tro trophy, not a participation trophy. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you look into the camera? <laughs> Even you can be in radio. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, that was pretty cool. Isn't your kids in, your kid in sports? Yep. Does he get a, a trophy just for showing up? Don't get me started, bro. Yep. Don't get me started. Okay, I went to some of the but, games. But, okay, but like uh, he played soccer last uh, last season. Uh, they forgot to give him the trophy. Uh, do you think I went back to get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Basketball we have because Wait. his mom was there Wait and we had to take it home. Wait a minute. How do you forget to give the kids a trophy? They said, "Oh, you know what? We we got Max's in the office. We'll be right back." Okay, we gotta go. Vámonos. <laughs> No, so no soccer trophy. No soccer trophy. No soccer, no soccer trophy. trophy. <laughs> so that's pretty cool on him, man. So I mean, he does get a trophy just for showing up. So yeah. even if he never touches the field or the court or whatever it might be, if he just sits there for an entire season, which is probably only three weeks long, yep. he gets a trophy. They all get a trophy. So that's where your dues are going. It's, it's actually like, it's into like, the trophy. It's like um, <clears throat> like Oprah. You know, you get a trophy, you get a trophy, he gets a trophy, everybody gets a damn trophy. I've never been to an Oprah show. Un or an Oprah, an Oprah, tr tr an Oprah hey, bro. Did what? you mug a 72-year-old woman on the way to the office? You couldn't even get stylish glasses that were maybe a solid frame. Bro, look at these. You man. had to get custom made. You know what? Anybody listening, call us at 855-693, guys. And if you have a comment on those glasses, I, just saw these glasses, I will give man. you guys a free three guys ranch my, shirt. My, my retired nurse neighbor is about 75. She Her glasses this, are better? Well, look at his glasses. It looks like he bugged a 75-year-old woman look, coming to look, work. Look at this, man. Mikey, They're look custom at the Custom-made. Custom, uh, custom is, made uh, by who? This Geppetto? is custom-made. This is actual Mexican turtles uh, shell. <laughs> Turtus? How about tortoise? That one. Isn't that the one that used to Does race with the rabbit? <laughs> Did it used to race with the rabbit? <laughs> the tortoise and the hare? Yeah, his, hair. His, I thought his, it was a rabbit. His hair is not much better either. Look at that hair. <laughs> so, anyways. I don't even remember what Good we were time. talking why, about. Why are we doing a close-up on that mug of his, dude? That's the part I don't get. Because I want people to realize what we're working with here. All right, fair enough. Right. It should be a nonprofit, and we should have a PayPal at the bottom for people to donate to this show. No, for do we, uh, huh? the uh, GoFundMe. Well, you know, stay in the Hey, stay bro, get rid of the ND, and we got part. You know, we'll change it right there. Go what? What? <laughs> he said, "Go fund me." I said, "Yeah." <laughs> bro, when you gotta explain the joke, it, it you know, I didn't. I'm work. in a room with two idiots. Uh, what do you want from me? So I don't know if you st sticking on the whole uh, sports thing. I don't know if you guys heard, but the first major league baseball player, I don't know if he's. I think he might be in Triple A right now. Came out as openly gay. Okay, okay. He's if it's in Triple A, he's not in the major. No, no, no. I know he's signed to a major team, but I don't know if he's actually played a single day in professional baseball. So let me get this straight. You're gonna cover an innuendo story. No facts, no name, no hey, teams. That's the way I'm we do it. it. There's no notes. So unless you it's memorized all up here. it, I, I memorized it. Oh, for the love of God. all I remember is that the guy was white. That's that's the highlight oh, of the story. Well, American baseball that narrows it down. I mean, well, we know it's not Pujols. We got that out of the way. This is not empujan a ti, but uh, well, there was a big uh, news. I think it was uh, in England because one of their big rugby stars came out as being gay. Phil. That's got you all over it. The rugby, the rugby, not the gay. I thought you were talking about the big guy. That too. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so what's the deal? So they come out, they come out, man. Who cares? As long as they yeah, can play. Th there doesn't seem to be any backlash. It doesn't seem like any of the other teammates have an issue with it. it seems like everybody's okay with it. Yeah. So. so, okay. So let's clarify some things. First of all, baseball's first openly gay player, his name is Glenn Burke. That sounds white. Um, yep. I'm going to have Alan put up his picture because I want you to see how white he really is. Okay. Um, <laughs> and he plays in the minors for the Brewers. Like I said, that's everything I just said, minus the details. This is the Three Guys Red. Make sure to stick around. We'll be right back.
Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation, so he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar & Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar & Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Looking for some swag? Make sure to check out monsterclothing.com. They got everything from v-necks, t-shirts, hoodies, baby dolls, and remember, custom orders are always welcome, and much more. They're just not on the site yet. www.monsterclothingco.com or call them at 888-49-MONSTER. 888-49-MONSTER. Hablamos Español. Do -do -do. ...that needs to get noticed, your ideas need a great website. And at Infuse, we build simple, clean, and efficient websites. We believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way. We build responsive sites, e-commerce sites, and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization. Every great idea needs a great website. Start your new look today. Check us out at www.infuse.com. That's www.enfuse.com. Or call us at 800-542-4783. Again, that's 800 800- 542-4783 and Fuse, we get it done. This is Becca Bateau. When I'm not reading Fifty Shades of Grey and driving men crazy, I spend my time dreaming about the three guys rant, Arvin, Mike, and Phil. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back to another episode of the Three Guys Rant. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, really another episode, and Instagram. Back from break. Back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back in full force. Is that what it is? We're erectile and back. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at the Three Guys Rant. Call us at 855 69 guys 855 69 guys or email us at rent. At the three guys rent .com. Let's talk about the favorite subject of America right now. Political correctness? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I have something to say about Donald Trump. It's spectacular. I'm sure he's relieved now because they found uh, Rosie's da uh, daughter. Oh, did they find her? They found her. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good to hear. Um, I don't even know about that story, but I can connect those dots. I watched it over the weekend. Again, you know, uh, it's like a train wreck. You just... He can't turn away. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I like how he went to Iowa. It was Iowa. Iowa. Didn't care about any of the the rules or, or, or the unwritten regulations. No, no, no stumping, no soapboxy, nothing. Flies in with a helicopter, gives free rides to kids, shaking hands. Donald Trump is a magic man. No, I mean, he's the magic man. Magic man. He's cool the way he's running things. I mean, it's just comedy. Shows you about uh, our political system, but it, it's cool. I mean, I, I like I like watching some of his interviews and his speeches. You know, when they ask him a direct question and he never answers. You know, I'm, <laughs> I mean, he's worse than a politician. He he wants to run because he's not a politician. He's anti-establishment, but he but he's worse than them when it comes to that. But he's funny. But it's not the same thing they used to say about Barack that he never answered your question. Yeah, but he he was political about it. You know so this funny, guy though? just doesn't Don't, care. I yeah. finally saw a different side of our country over the weekend watching. I saw about 12 different channels, you know, the interviews and what they're saying. And it was interesting where I would have thought the guy would have already burned out by now. The, the media would have crushed him. What was so interesting is when they were talking to everyday people, 
why they're so enamored with him. And it reminds me very much of when Bush uh, 42 was running. I always thought Bush 42 was an idiot. Right. Okay. I didn't think he, people said he was a great orator. I never got that. Um, I never thought he could put two sentences together. I don't even think his wife thought he was a good orator. <laughs> She's always had this nasty look on her face. <laughs> but that was me. Okay. What was interesting, though, is to hear they, they interviewed 12th graders, they interviewed adults, seniors, you know, retired. Um, funny, though, no one of color and no one brown, but that's okay. But everybody they spoke to, they had one common theme. They liked the fact that he was unapologetic. They liked the fact that he spoke his mind. They liked the fact that he was a non-politician. They said they liked all the gaffes because he spoke from the heart. So it's funny that they believe him to be more sincere and honest than many politicians for speaking his mind and not trying to backpedal and not trying to be apologetic for his mistakes. But let me ask you this. I, w I recently read an article saying... You read an article? Uh, yeah. Well... Maybe like the first two sentences out of every <laughs> paragraph. But that's that's neither here nor okay. there. Um, to where, and it was a big name correspondent. I won't give credit where credit isn't due because they're not on this show. Um, to where they're saying that as fast, as much momentum as, as Donald Trump has received to date, he's going to burn out just that quickly. And the reason he's so far in the lead is because you turn on the TV and all you see is Donald Trump. But he hasn't addressed anything. He doesn't respond to anything. He doesn't answer anything. So that people are just going to get sick and tired of just seeing his face and not having anything to match it up well, to. And again, though, I would have agreed with you a week ago. What I'm saying, though, where I think it's a little different, where I think he's got a little bit more longevity, you know, uh, I'd be floored if he actually got the nomination. But right. where I'm telling you that in listening to more and more people, they don't have the same mindset we do. They don't follow politics the way we do. They don't. They also don't agree with the rules of politics and the way we believe politics should be. So you're saying that the American public is tired. a bunch of lemmings? No. I think the American people are tired. I think the American people, you know, in the, what is, there was a, um, a great line in that movie, uh, The President or whatever, with Michael J. Fox when he's yelling at... Um, right, right. They tell, you know, in the absence of... Of great, mice and men? No. In the absence of great leadership, they'll follow anyone who tells them what they want to hear. Right. And I've argued with Mike now that even though we voted for him twice over the eight years, I never felt our last president came through with the hope and change. The previous president I thought was an absolute moron for eight years. So I think both parties are highly disillusioned. We've had now eight years of each one of the parties and no one's, I, I, while there are improvements and you know we're, there's, we've, we've counted down on some of the wars, I don't think the situation for a lot of people is any better. And they're, they're just, we've reached a point now of burnout. So while Donald Trump is telling them what they want to hear, Donald Trump. Yeah, is, but doesn't every politician no, do that to no, some yeah, but general market of you America? Gotta, you you got to look at who who they're marketing to. They're marketing to the lower common denomination, the American voter, the ninety nine percenters. By 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 and large, people loved uh, W because oh he was a cool guy. We could I could have a beer with him. You know the guy. I was okay. born in Massachusetts. Okay, you can right? have a beer with the guy, but can you have a conversation with the man? Right. The Didn't guy was, was from New England, Massachusetts. When he decided to run, he bought that ranch in Texas. I'm so, where is he from? Uh, over there, the East Coast. <laughs> so a Massachusetts. That one. So then they, they started portraying him as a cowboy. Oh, this man, this man. And, you know, and the, me the media and the American people bought that. John Wayne was now, a cowboy. Yeah, now you have Trump, who people like the way he talks. For some reason, he is relatable to some people, even though he's a billionaire. Some pe and, and I think it has to do with a lot of people. People in America, they want to be rich. They believe that they can be re rich. So if they can identify with this guy, maybe they can be as rich and powerful okay, as him someday. There's a big someday. difference between wanting to be rich and being a billionaire. Doesn't matter. Though, yeah, doesn't okay, matter. Has, has he ever given back to any nonprofit or Boys and Girls Club? Probably. Or? I mean, they all do to some extent. Okay. Him, him paying... On a weekly basis, the people that wash the bathroom at his country clubs doesn't count as giving back. Oh, well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You're, you're missing the point. Right now, he is saying what they want to hear, regardless of what denominator we're talking about. And you know what? It was funny because apparently after the Megyn Kelly uh, controversy, him and Roger Ailes went at it. And it's been reported by 
uh, the media that Roger Ailes told him, you want to go to war, we'll go to war. Because Ailes know he can bury him. Because right now Fox News love him. They love him. But uh, and apparently tone, uh, Trump started to tone it down. The only thing he asked for uh, of so? Roger was, I will not apologize to Megyn Kelly. He says, that's fine. You don't apologize. We won't apologize. But that's it. So but That Megyn Kelly's cute, though. Oh, she's gorgeous. That's a, that's do you think do you think they were trying to send back him? Of course. He's an idiot. And and again, where the only thing that I thought was funny. I'm they sorry. Were, I'm having a hard time. There's a big pole in your face. But please continue. You obviously it, and it, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a black pole, too. I mean, they assumed they were going to trip him up. And they right. did. But the guy just resilient. doesn't care. <laughs> Take us out of here, Mikey. See ya. We'll be back after the break. that needs to get noticed your ideas need a great website and that infuse we build simple clean and efficient websites we believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way we build responsive sites e-commerce sites and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization every great idea needs a great website start your new look today check us out at www.infuse.com that's www.enf use.com or call us at 800-542-4783 again that's 800-542-4783 and fuse we get it done protect carpet and tile care provides professional cleaning services for carpet tile and grout upholstery and fine area rugs we aren't just clean experts we are restoration experts we have saved our customers hundreds or even thousands of dollars on new flooring and upholstery expenses after we restored what they thought was permanent soil and damage we are professionally trained and certified technicians we specialize in damage restoration caused by heavy soil odor spot removal such as coffee tea ink gum wine oil paint nail polish and many more if you want the best in home cleaning and professional services call us today at 562-447-4300 we are protec Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continue to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative healthcare to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar and Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar and Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Hey everybody, it's Kiara Lynn Ford and I'm listening to Rant Radio Network. Welcome back to, uh, see, welcome back to the next segment of the Three Guys Rant coming to you live from mycondomclub.com studios. Where the walls are made of rubber. It's filthy. I want to pick up on the uh, Trump story that we were covering a little bit ago. One of the things that was, uh, Alan's going to put up a picture for me. I don't know if you guys recognize her. That's Heidi Klum. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was. Heidi's 40. Right. And. Really? I thought she was older. Donald Trump said um, she's no longer a 10. She's not. Um, I finally agree with something the man says. She, uh, he feels that, um. Yeah, I mean she's not in her prime, but she's gorgeous. Okay, she's, she's a what's she's funny a milfer. Is, so if you look up there, you know she did a video where she has a ten on her chest. The video came out yesterday. If you get a chance, somebody in a Donald mask runs up behind her, pulls down the ten. She's a nine point nine nine. 
I'd go a little lower. Uh, I don't care. I think she's gorgeous. What cracks me up is no, no, no. I meant I'd go a little lower. <laughs> What I'm laughing about, though, is this ugly orangutan has the nerve to say she's not a Ted anymore. Yep. Well, I don't get it. What He you never know? left. Number two. And then there's Megan Kelly, for anybody who doesn't know who she is. Um, Can you, what about she, Ivana? Remember Ivana Trump? His wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's she horrible was to look at. Freaking ugly, even when he married her. She's she's. So I don't know what the hell he's talking, you, you, talking about. I mean, the, the, the one right now, she looks okay. Duncan? But, but it's all paid for. I like his daughter. Yeah, she's cute as hell. I think she is Ivanka? cute. And it's yeah. funny, he made a statement that his daughter is beautiful, and if he wasn't his daughter, he probably would be dating her. Did he really say that? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So, is, you know, is he also from Fox, viewers, Fox viewers and all the rednecks down there were loving that. Is uh, is he from Massachusetts? They're like, I'm going to vote for him because I would date my daughter too. See, that's, a real, that's, that's probably one of the best pictures I've ever seen of her. That's Ivana. Because she's not that good looking. Right. Wife. right, right. I've seen X-wife, videos and X-wife. other stuff. She looks extraordinary in this picture compared to other pictures I've seen. She looks like a hybrid of Shrek and the donkey in most pictures that I've you seen. You know what's funny? I didn't, I didn't realize that this guy has five kids. I thought it was just the two, Ivanka and the other one that I used to come out on The Apprentice with him. I thought uh, it was just two. Moron, Apparently, it's five. Moron, there's three of the kids that come out on that show. Well, I Actually, only saw I th- season no, one no, or I two. Think, I think at some point they have had four. I think there was yeah. one that came out like once or twice. Never saw. I saw season one and two. Uh, two well, that wasn't even that. Celebrity Apprentice. That was just Apprentice. No, it was Celebrity Apprentice. I mean, uh, it was Apprentice. Right, the Apprentice, right, right, right. Okay. So I don't know. Arvin, good news for you. Wait, wait. Before, before we get completely off Donald Trump, what are your thoughts on the fact that he was able to walk into court and walk out of court for uh, jury duty? Was that rigged? No, it's you understand why, right? Because they didn't need him. No. How the hell are you going to have even a, a an auto? Traffic ticket trial with that moron sitting there, all the press outside. It's, it's, you cannot it's have a, a circus show. Right? So, that part, so they I, didn't take anybody that day because they didn't take anybody. Everybody got to leave. Okay. So they dismissed everybody. So big maybe deal. the guy took a plea. Yeah. I never heard of that. Have you ever, have you even shown up for jury duty? Uh, they don't know where I live. <laughs> <laughs> twice. And, and when they find me, twice they find the trash jury can. duty. I've actually made the panel. As they're walking us, the first time they were walking us there, the guy took a plea because he didn't think they were going to get a panel. The second time was two days before Christmas, and they called that morning and said the guy took a plea. So both times, so it happens, man. It's it's a regular. That's occurrence. BS. I'm saying there was somebody's hand involved in that transaction. Dude, I was there once, and it was for a murder trial, and I'm so glad they didn't get to me. They 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 uh, picked a panel before they even called me. Now Mike was asking me earlier. I guess Trump went further this weekend. And it's funny how quickly Rubio had to whoa, denounce whoa, whoa. it. That 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 can just go so many ways, horribly wrong. What does that mean? He went uh, farther than ever before. Please Damn, continue. I, I said Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, continue with the story. <laughs> Stop being distracted, Phil. So Donald Trump says that he no longer wants anybody born here to instantly be citizen. American citizen. Citizen. What does that mean? You got to wait till you're five and then apply. No, what does that no, mean? No. Okay, what, what it means is that just because you're born here, if your parents are not citizens, that does not make you a citizen. So if you're born, so you got to be what second and third generation in? No, no, no. If you're if you're born here and your parents are both from Mexico, you're not an American citizen. You're a Mexican. So at what point is the offspring American? Never. I think you have to go through the natural naturalization process. However long that takes, I don't know. But I mean, it's it's not going to happen, man. It's a constitutional amendment right now. You know how long, or what it takes to change the constitution? It's crazy. Why did it? T- I don't know if you know, but why did it take? Because I know you recently did it. Fernando Valenzuela, he's been here for years and he's got money. Why did it take him so long to do it? Do you know? Probably just didn't feel the need to do it. Yeah, maybe okay. he just decided. Okay, I'm going to do it finally. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, that, he, was yeah, here, that, he, that, was, he was here legally, so I mean, he didn't really have a need for it. I don't know why he changed his mind. It. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 BS. Or maybe that's he heard politely. Trump was coming, and said, I better <laughs> fix my papers now, man, because this moron will send me back. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I think for Arvin, women <laughs> who go out with him may have a, a whole different uh, perspective now. I know. Female but, Viagra is set to be approved. Wasn't that so? Now Arvin set to be instead, approved instead like of, a year ago. 
instead of pulling a Cosby and feeding him Quaaludes, he's just going <laughs> to feed him the fe- female Viagra. <laughs> did you hear that? Did I hear correctly over the weekend that there are almost 50 Cosby now or mm-hmm. something? What the hell, the dude? People, the women keep coming out of the woodworks. And none of them want money. They don't want anything. They just want to bury him. Yep. Somebody has to have somebody has to have want money. He's paid to keep uh things on the hush, but I don't think anybody just asked for money. He paid them so they could, All 50 uh, of them? No, not all 50. It's like couple. the first 10? I, I don't know if it's that many. I think it's less than that. So then what <laughs> what would be uh why just keep why come out just to uh put more bad light on the men? Or no, say, hey, this guy raped you know me. I, I want to get it off my chest. Easy on the statement there, because that's where women will beat you. But I will say that for a lot of women, yeah, I, I do think that this is a stepping stone for what it's always been the whole scenario of whether it's rape on campus, women who are raped. The first question is, what did you do to provoke it? So I think for a lot of these women also, now that if they're trying to get this guy that he's been able to get off because of celebrity and money for so long, that I think that's what they're looking for is vindication. And and just they see the number of women that are coming out and then all of a sudden they feel like, you know, I'm not alone. You know, there's a group of women and they'll support each other, you know. So I wonder if I can get in on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and the yellow pudding pot, man. Did he I, uh, stick the yellow pudding pot <laughs> somewhere? Mikey, did you see that two women passed the ranger school? Yep. Ranger school. So easy. Even women can do it. <laughs> Wow, that's messed up, man. Only, you know what's funny? Only a Marine would say that. I mean, but, you know, there's been a ton of women that have tried to make it through the Marine officer, uh, infantry officer school, and none of them have made it. But you know what? They go to ranger school and they make it. I saw an article, and it, it didn't seem, again, I'm sure that I wouldn't be able to do it because I'm overweight, and I don't want to offend anybody, but it was something like 50 push-ups, 50 jumping jacks. No, no, and they like went a, to the school, not just the physical. No, I know, part. but to try to get to pass. Oh, okay. There was a test you had to take, and it was... You had to do like a four mile run, and it was all like in under like forty five minutes. I mean, it didn't seem that impossible for General America to be doing it if you're somewhat in shape. I don't know what the requirements are, but they went through the entire school, not just the physical fitness test. Right, and now the question so, is, what uh, what kind of conditions are they going to have to put in place? Because now they're going to have to tailor to women. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? Well. <laughs> Just because they got the ranger badge doesn't mean that they're going to go into a ranger battalion. They can go back to whatever their job is, but they're ranger qualified. Which means what? You got to salute them and they make more money? No, you don't have to salute them, but it's prestigious to say that you pass ranger school in the army, within the army. But you're making fun of them. Yeah, I mean, it's prestigious in the army. (laughs) (laughs) Not in the Marine Corps. No. What what are your thoughts on, on that whole thing, Phil? Two women. I mean, again, I, I applaud them. I couldn't do it. But, you know, you talk to most military personnel, they make the same comment. <laughs> <Mike does. laughs> All right, so the Three Guys Round will be right back after this commercial break. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continue to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar & Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar & Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. 
exclusive brands like Westco Bankmark, Sat Nice, and Pastry Pride. One on one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So, for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Business that needs to get noticed? Your ideas need a great website. And at Infuse, we build simple, clean, and efficient websites. We believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way. We build responsive sites, e-commerce sites, and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization. Every great idea needs a great website. Start your new look today. Check us out at www.infuse.com. That's www.enfuse.com. Or call us at 800-542-4783. Again, that's 800 800- 542-4783 and Fuse, we get it done. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and a big old howdy, y'all. This is the Red Mexican Alex Raimundo with my amigos, the three guys ranting, not to be confused with three guys panting. That was uh, me outside your window the other night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. This is the Three Guys Rant. Make sure to check us out each and every week at the Three Guys Rant.com. Again, the Three Guys Rant.com. Call us at 855 69 Three Guys. 855 69 Three Guys. I have a question. Could this be part of the reason why America is so. I'm just going to say it. Fat. I was going to say obese, but we're all fat, including the three guys in this room. Um. The, the I have a list here of Speak the for yourself. I'm fluffy. In all the right places, maybe. Let's go with that. So the 20 most successful fast food chains in America. I was asking you off air. You got one of them. Mikey got the other one. But the top three here are McDonald's, Starbucks, and Subway in that order. Starbucks is considered fast food, I guess. Yeah, I guess because they're selling uh, sandwiches. I, yeah, I wouldn't have thought them, but. Okay, I'll, so g- the, I'll the, give the, it to you. Their coffee, the, the, they, gotta be, they don't sell enough food to be in the top three i guarantee right. you that well they're moving a whole lot of something brown crack if you want to call it that it's coffee man. I mean, well, dude at seven bucks a cup come on but you know what to be in second place they're extremely below the first place which is mcdonald's mcdonald's is raking in over 35 billion when starbucks is at 12 billion and going down the list burger king wendy's taco bell dunkin donuts which has just recently started hitting the west coast chick-fil-a which i didn't think would be on there um, and the one that stood out is number 13, Sonic Drive-In. I love Sonics, but I can't find a damn Sonics to save my life. Well, I got I to take about a Sonics. 30, 40. Yeah, there's no Sonics. I said Sonic, Sonic Drive-In. Yes, but you keep adding an S to the end, and there's no. Because I'm from Massachusetts. That's why you can't find a right. Sonics. So the closest Sonics I know of is a good 45 minutes away from us. What are you talking about? There's one in Duarte. That's 45 minutes away from us. Are you kidding me? No. And that's, that's without a, traffic. That's a 20-minute drive. Okay. Maybe at 2 in the morning when there's nobody out, but not right now. I'll tell you what. If you go up there and, you be, and you're back in an hour, I'll buy okay. lunch. It's not 45 minutes. That's what I'm saying. All right. So I want to talk to uh, talk about something real quick before we, uh, we're done here. Political correctness is just going way out of hand in America. People are just afraid to speak their mind because if you say the wrong term for... A group of people or peoples, you're deemed a racist. And I think it's just get, going way out of hand. There was a waitress fired in uh, St. Louis. She was fairly new at the restaurant. She forgot the numbers, and she described this couple as black couple. The couple saw the bill, and they were totally, totally humiliated, frustrated, and angry. Now, if you if she you, wrote on the bill, black couple, yeah, on the computer, on the bill, you know. So, she could so it was her. notes for her, but it printed out on the yeah, it on prints the bill. on the receipt. Okay, but in all fairness, she couldn't have put the gentleman in the red shirt. I'm just asking, if, how I, do you know? How do you know they weren't at a Kool Aid festival and everybody was wearing a red shirt? Because Mike just finished telling me they weren't at a Kool Aid festival. Okay, yeah, maybe they were right. the only two black people in the but room. But still, I mean, is it that bad that you're a black couple and you see black couple and you're offended? It doesn't matter. You don't know how. But again, you don't know how it was meant, how it was written. And I'm it was you, written I, on a receipt. It wasn't like hand scribbled or nothing. She put black table in. They were eating eating in. And that's what she put. Why couldn't she put African-American? 
Maybe she doesn't know how to spell, spell African. Then she shouldn't be working. So, <laughs> but to me, okay, look at this other one. Maybe I'm, she's I'm from Massachusetts. I'm just saying, 20 years of food, you, there's certain things you do and you don't do, and you either know it or you don't. What's the restaurant? Do we have any idea what restaurant? I mean, are we talking about like a Denny's or are we talking about like. No, it's uh, a local restaurant. It's not a national. So it's national like a Scotty's chain. that we have here. Right. Something like that. Yeah, and I, the, the I, I owner can... went and apologized to the couple, and then he fired the waitress. I mean, it's come on, man. You know what? I'm on the fence about this one because we walked into that restaurant, and I swear that lady that works there, she's the owner. I won't say what I'm thinking, but she treats some people kind of mean. And if you're not thick skinned, I can see her okay, offending but, okay. people. Let's say you and I go eat somewhere, and on the uh, <clears throat> on the receipt they put Latinos, Latino guys. Are you gonna be offended? You know, we don't care. We're, we're, we're again. <laughs> We don't fit into any of those norms. Including the clothes. Okay, here's another one. The University of New Hampshire put out a list. This is just an excerpt of preferred or acceptable terms when you're speaking about a group of people. For instance, older people, elders, seniors, senior citizen, problematic. Those it words should, are problematic? Yeah, it should be people of advanced age. Advanced age. <laughs> wow. Rich. It should be a person of material wealth. Okay, and this is what their students want, want to start. They want their students and faculty to start using. Uh, people, uh, overweight people or obese people, people of size. You know what? I'm not a person of size. I'm fat, all right? <laughs> and you can call me fat on the receipt. I don't care, all right? Problematic. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you went to a restaurant and on your receipt it said fat, what would you do? I don't care. You know what I would do? Like, you've insulted me. You can make this up to me and bring me some cheesecake. <laughs> right. <laughs> sexual preference. You shouldn't say that anymore. You should say sexual orientation or sexual identity. Girly or tomboy. Children who are gender non-conforming. I mean, this is how stupid we are. Target now is changing their stores, and they're going to take some of this, uh, the signs that suggest that certain products are gender specific. I heard about that. We're talking about like the dolls, right? Uh, for dolls, right. different things. I mean, what? Seriously, I mean, when are we going to stop? I didn't even know that there was a sign for that. I just assumed that the girls went for the dolls and the boys went <laughs> well, for the G.I. Joes. And I don't even know that there's a sign that says girls or boys. But right. if you walk to, let's say, it. the toy department, only in clothing, it'll sell. It'll right. say, you know, girls and boys. But if you walk to the toy department, uh, the girls okay, section. Okay, hold, hold on. Let me give you the flip side. Let me give you the flip side of political correctness. Right. Where not everyone's insane. I want to say it's Minnesota, Lowe's. I do know it was exactly Lowe's. One of the workers that had been there, he's been there seven years. Him and a, uh, another gentleman, the guy had been there 11 years. The guy's black. He's one of the appliance delivery guys, and he drives one of the trucks for Lowe's. He arrived at a woman's house in, uh, in the area, went to unload. She said, you need to leave. You're black. Okay. She called the store, said... I made it clear. I don't want anybody black delivering anything to my home. Send me a white driver. One manager told the other manager, who went and got the service manager, told the white driver, you need to go back. She wants her stuff. The guy says, you're out of your damn mind. They're like, what are you going to do? I feel sick. He went to the break room. They sent out another white driver or another white individual. The, the guy comes in and says, what did I do? Oh, well. Basically, you're black. She said she didn't want to be black at her house. So I told him. Right. He says, you got to be kidding me. He says, I've been here seven years. I, I've yeah, taken care of hundreds of people. That, and they said, that she, well, you know, she didn't want you. Now, somebody heard or somehow it made it to corporate within the same day. Somebody called. That's fast. Real fast. Right. Corporate flew in within hours. Fired all three managers. Good. Okay. They should have. Fired all three managers on the spot. The VP of whatever he was came and sat with this guy to tell him to please understand this is not the corporate philosophy. Right. This is not Lowe's. One lunatic customer. You know, so I'm saying it's not everywhere that's as insane as what you're, you know, with these, these statements and these people. So, but what it is, though, it's a lot of the younger people that we keep talking about. It's a lot of these college kids now. That, okay, but that didn't sound like a young person. That sounded like an old white lady. You would think so. But again, I mean, it comes back to we've heard Jerry Seinfeld make comments. We've heard other people. It's one of these things that if you're over 55. So you're saying that we're regressing as opposed to being more. I don't know that we're regressing, but I do feel and you, you sense it that from the, the 20 to 35 
you know, population. Whew, 20 to I'm th- glad I'm just north of you're that. You're just north of that. There seems to be a different functionality. I see it in Mike's daughters. The way they talk with us and the way they communicate, even from what they did 10 years ago as they were in high school and they were growing up, yeah. they've changed. The, yeah. the, 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 the particular <clears throat> For the better or for the worse? In their I don't think for it's the, for the better. And again- It's it, not for the worse for sure, but- It's not it's for, for the, the worse, but where, to Mike's point, where they've taken political correctness and their discussions to such extremes. And there are times that Mike and I will be joking. And mind you, we have several black associates and partners and we don't even go anywhere near the N-word. Right. But if you tell somebody, hey, you know, you're black, you hear, <gasps> but I'm gonna tell you something. All, all I got to say is I no longer get invited to dinner parties because somehow I always end up offending one person or the entire table. Well, but you offend for a different reason. It's just your looks. Okay. Um, it, it's just I don't understand it. And you know what? The problem is that it's not, not every country is like that. For instance... In Puerto Rico, and I, I don't know if we, we're gonna okay. First off, that's, not, that's not even no, gonna rate. No, but I'm just gonna tell you something. Okay, the word uh, there's a term of endearment that you call your spouse, whether it's a male I, or a female. I, I please do that small disclaimer before you no, say no, whatever you're no, gonna I'm, say. I'm gonna say something. It's not. It's not a bad word. Okay. It, 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 it's in Spanish. It's called negro. Right. If it's a female negra. Right. That is a term of endearment. That's what my mom and dad used to call each other. My grandpa and my grandma. Oh, I got friends you can like go, that. You can go to, to a restaurant and you're trying to get the waiter's attention in Puerto Rico. And you're like, hey, negro, negra. It's, it's nothing oh, I got, to I, do with race. I grew up like that. But here, you do that? Oh, my God. Forget it. I grew up like okay, that. Okay, but again. Because I, 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 when, uh, I, when uh, I grew up, I had, I had several dark, dark Mexican Arvin friends. Arvin and I were talking yesterday, though, that it also has to do with where you're from. And yesterday, that in certain parts of the world, a piece of wedding cake... Refers to a it's female the same thing as a piece. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, that's just the way things roll sometimes. All right. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. This is another episode of the Three Guys Rant. Make sure to check us out each and every week. Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. Hey, what's going on? This is Frank Palangi here. You're listening to the Three Guys Rant Radio Show. Rock on. All right, welcome back to the last segment of the Three Guys Rant. Coming to you from Los Angeles inside the My Condom Club studio. Make sure to check them out for all your rubber and lubrication needs. All right, right. If you're afraid or embarrassed by going to the store to buy condoms, which you should, practice safe sex. Go to mycondomclub.com. Well, it is safe if you're doing it by yourself, isn't it? It depends. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? <laughs> Are the sheets clean? I mean, there's a lot of different variables. You know what? That's a no and a no. Do you have swamp ass? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> you have what? Anyways, talking about this wait, subject, wait, wait, it's that's a great a hell, segue. That's a hell of a segue. Uh, hold on. I, I got to ask you something. I meant to ask you in the last show. Uh, a couple weeks back, I actually met with some of the people from uh, Golden Boy Promotions here in downtown. When they got off the freeway, there was a guy. It was a homeless guy, Ero Negro. He had a sign that said tacos, $1. So I'm like, you know what? I normally don't interact. If I have money, I'll just give him money just you know, to try to be, try, try to, to help be him nice. out. Right, try to be nice. So I'm like, you know what? I got to know what the hell he's talking about. So I rolled down the window. I go, hey, I go. Are you asking for a dollar for a taco? I go, because you couldn't possibly be selling tacos for a dollar. No, 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 my man. I got a basket back there. I'm selling tacos for a dollar. I go, are you kidding me? 
no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I would. I go, here's some money. I go, but don't give me any tacos. I go, I just came from meeting. So what does he do? He leaves my window and goes to the car behind me. He was probably uh, wrist deep scratching his ass. <laughs> well, he's I got it flavor him somehow. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, that's good. So, what's your segue? Since we're talking about this, this crazy stories, um, Jared, the Some subway, subway guy. right, is apparently pleading guilty to charges related to child pornography. Now, I heard you talking about that, but what I don't understand is I didn't think any charges were being pressed against him. I thought they were questioning him because of one of his employees. Yeah, well, apparently they found incriminating evidence in his computers at home. There was videos, okay. and there was feeds to to some different cameras. Is he setting up cameras around the world or I, somebody else's thing? I don't know if they're only at Subway, so is he going to the McDonald's Playlands too? Oh, you know, so this was, are you saying that these cameras are inside of the Subway? I don't know. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just okay. playing. Uh, Subway, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> feed us. Feed us for free. <laughs> right. Um, but that's he, crazy, was man. Was he the only Were these computers at his house? Yeah, at his house. Oh, his so, own computer. So then you know for a fact he had access to them. Right. But it's crazy, man. That guy, I mean, then again. <laughs> You, you can't tell what a child pornography looks like by just looking at a person because it's doctors, rabbis, priests, whatever. Really? Because it's crazy. I've gone to bars plenty of times and the women say, uh-uh, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm That's telling you, same. man. But it's, uh, it's crazy. And Subway, I mean, even when there was just a hint of allegations, they, they dropped, dropped them. them. Uh, but I wonder if wow. just even because... People are going to stop going to Subway. Or some people will be, you know what? Uh, but you know what? It's been, I know that he, he, I know he was still on a contract. He technically was still the face of Subway. But I haven't really connected him with Subway in years. I mean, he was with them, what, 15 years, 17 years? Something like that. And you know what's funny? Uh, they were interviewing some people recently about Jer kids, actually, about Jared, who Jared from Subway was. And the majority of youngsters, like Don't 15 know. and under, thought he was the owner of Subway. Really? Because they've seen him on TV, See, on TV that's, advertising That's Subway. funny because I know um, I can kind of relate that more now because I know that they've gone a lot of uh, a lot of gone after a lot of athletes. I know that they yeah. have Mike Trout as a spokesperson. They have, right. they have several big names right. that I know that they're coming out of pocket a hundred numerous millions of dollars just to pay him. So again, I don't, I don't think a lot of people would relate Jared to Subway. No, I'm at with least, you. At least not as the face. Right, right. Not anymore. Not as much. Oh, you had to be a little bit older, but <clears throat> it's crazy, man. You never know what's uh, what's gonna happen, man. Yeah. And I you know, know, sometimes people say, "Oh, it's just allegations, man." Allegations. Yeah. Tell that come to, for tell, a reason. Tell that to Bill Cosby. Tell that to Bill Cosby. Because <laughs> uh, this dude is crazy, man. Bill Cosby, that is. I would say both of them are. I you know what's amazing, dude? That I, uh, you know, on my car, I listen to. I don't want to advertise him, so I'll say non-terrestrial radio. Oh, internet. Okay. <laughs> Tampoco. All right. And I listen to a lot of comedy channels. Right. These guys had never played Cosby as much as they do oh, nowadays. I can, I, oh, wait. Trying to, uh, like, comedians bashing him or no, 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 him no, no, doing no. a stand-up? Him doing stand-up. I swear for, for years I had never heard a single, Bill Cosby. A single A one. single set. And lately, it's all over the place. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with these people, man? <laughs> can can he be uh, pushing their numbers north just because there's controversy around him? I don't know. I don't know if because every time I see, I just read that it's him. I, I change oh, so the channel. You, so the name shows yeah, up. Yeah, the name too. shows up. It's not just huh. the set. The name shows up. Right. I just change the channel. Not interested in hearing. Have, is he even funny? Because yeah, I, I would figure a lot of his comedy day, is clean. Yeah, all of it is clean. Uh, right. Back in the day, I mean, yeah, he was funny, but I don't know. I don't know that I would find him funny but nowadays. He wasn't, he wasn't Richard Pryor funny? Nah, nah. There's something about clean comedy and and red comedy, how they call it. You know, it, it's just red one. Comedy. One, it's, it's just to me, the edgier it is, the, the nastiest it is, the funnier <laughs> I find it. I don't know. That's, that's just me. Just, that's just because there's something <laughs> wrong with you, man. But oddly enough, I, I listen to Jerry Seinfeld. I like him. He's clean. Uh, Ray Romano. I think the only times I've ever heard any of those guys is on uh, The Tonight Show. Yeah, but their their whole comedy is always clean, and right. they're funny. Again, because they're talented. They, they can write, or they have access to good writers. That might be it, because I know I've seen Bob Saget perform. I've seen him in person right. here in Hollywood, 
And when he came out, I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be painful. I don't want to listen to this. And I was getting up to either go get a beer or go to the bathroom or whatever. 30 seconds in, man, this guy's dropping F-bombs and talking yep. about his balls and his kids and everything. I'm like, he, what he the hell? He completely changed his persona. Right. And I, I thought it was, I sat back down and I watched the entire set. I think he, he was on purpose trying to change that perception that he was the dad at uh, Full yeah, House. Full House. Right. And he even addressed that. He says that all the time people come up to him and ask him how, uh, I guess Michelle was one of the, the right, little right. baby ones. Oh, how's Michelle doing in this? And like, you moron, you realize that she's not my daughter. She's <laughs> she's just on, on TV with me. So, Are yeah. they supposed to do a reunion? The, at last I heard, it's it's official. It's going to happen. I think the only ones that haven't signed up for sure were the twins, which would be Michelle. Right, right. But I know Jesse, Joey, uh, Bob Saget, and I think um, the other two daughters, and I think the na- Kimmy, the neighbor, I think even right. they have signed up. I think. I would watch it if they do it in a new Bob Saget format. I would watch it if it was a vivid video, uh, Full House. All right. <laughs> and that's uh, Arvin at the 3GuysRant.com. Everybody, thank you for sticking around. That was another episode of The 3Guys Rant. Make sure to check us out each and every week at The3GuysRant.com. Mikey, say goodbye because they're zooming in. <laughs>